What were you guys just singing? Huh? What were you guys singing that again? You found me. You found me. Line up. Oh, yeah. Oi, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually live. live. Alright, are we live? We're live right now? Are we? Yep, here we go. Alright, guys, welcome to the 2022 Patriot Games TV Big Giveaway, the competition. Now, before we get into this, oh, we are live, I can see me here on the hey, YouTube. Okay. Uh, before we get into this, uh, Sarah and Mia are actually missing from tonight. So we got a call from school this afternoon. Something's happened with Mia. Sarah's taken her down to the hospital. Um, we're not 100% sure exactly what it is. She's got some pains in her back and they're shooting down her legs. Um, so we're gonna make this quite quick and then me and the boys are gonna get out of here, get down to the hospital and see what's up. So darling, if you are watching down there, um, we love you. Um, best wishes, we'll be with you very, very shortly after we do this giveaway. You wanna say something to your sister? Love you, yeah. yeah we'll you see you. <laughs> All right, so. okay, so that's out the way. So unfortunately the whole family's not together, it's gonna to be up to me and the boys. Yep. I've got a little bit of a run sheet over here which I actually haven't looked at yet. Um, there's been a bit going on. Um, we got the gimbal, nice. we got the balloons, showroom's clean, swept and mopped. Lighting. Oh, we need the Monty Salvo family. We got three of us. <laughs> two are missing. Practice run through. I oh, skip that. Um, and somebody clean. Do you clean the MUX? Someone clean the MUX. Okay, let's get into it. So let's do a bit of a walk around on um, what we're going to be giving away this year. So the big, the big banger, the big prize is obviously um, the brand new MUX. Yeah. Now I might actually let you run through the MUX. I, I think I said in the build episode that that oh, I ordered one. And I did. So I've ordered an MUX. We just used it out at Fink. We've done a lot of pre-running with it, um, with the seven seats for the family. Actually, Friday night, I come and picked all you guys up from yeah. parties. So yeah, I'd, I'd done the dad thing on Friday night. Mia was out to dinner with a couple of her friends. So I drove down to Burley, picked her up. Then I went and picked up these yeah. two and one of their mates. And we were seven up in the MUX. So it was a seven seater family car. I think they're unbelievable. Yeah. I haven't spent a lot of time in it. Why don't you give them a bit of a run through now that you guys know this a little bit better? Yeah, um, I don't know all the tech about this much, and it's yeah, been don't go through the tech. Just your experience. What's the what's okay. the winner going to experience with the MUX? Yeah, give them a run through. The the number one thing me and Ash love uh, love about the MUX, which Dad just just mentioned, seven seats. You and all your mates just going out cruising. Having fun, that's like the number one thing that Ash and me like and, and they're just a really comfy car that you can just daily well and they actually go really good off, yeah. off, off, off road too. So factory rear massive. locker yep. Is, yep. is a big, big yeah, thing. Massive. This thing's running on 32s, a little bit bigger tyre, it'd be nice. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. yeah. We noticed when we did take it out wheeling on that episode, ground clearance, so it wasn't such a big issue. Yeah, but it wasn't yeah. that bad. I mean, like, yeah. it'll get you uh, to... Wherever are you, are you going mm. touring? So mm. take them around, take them for a walk around, show them through all the accessories that's been fitted. All right, so we got some. All right, so we got some big bodies on the in front. Um, off-road animal ball bar, GME whip. You can't go anywhere out for driving yeah. without a without a good radio. That's for sure. It comes. It comes in with a snorkel fitted from the factory. Like some 32 inch BF good rich old terrains. A BFG is good. I like them. Like and Pico, Bob Jones. Bob Jones team art. Yep. yep. So I've got to yeah, give a Bob plug Jane. to everybody who's been involved. I'll stand in the background. I'll do the plug stuff. You do <laughs> yeah. the tech stuff. Keep going. But the Pico wheels. How nice yeah. are those? Everybody I need some of those. It's got a fulcrum uh, lift kit in it. We want to know to try out. To not? Three? No, it's two inch, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it was yeah, two, two inch. Yeah, I can't two remember, inch. it was that long ago. Yeah, so we wanted to try out something new, so we went with Fulcrum May as well. Uh, it's got a Yakima um, big platform on the top for swags, camp chairs, whatever or you want. Is this thing unlocked? Yep. yep. It's got arguably one of like the nicest interiors in, in Newark four-wheel drives in my opinions it's just comfy everything's there everything works how it should there's not too much things it's just what you need like so the interior for you and all the family is amazing while touring 
And we only done two modifications in the interior, so show them those two mods that we did, mate. Uh, the two mods, let's see, obviously. So obviously a GME, uh, a GME XRS Connect, a very good radio, and you got a little, if you can see down here, a Red Arc Toe Pro to aid in the braking with your new X1. So, um, yeah, so seven seats as we kept on saying, nice Red Arc Go Block in the back, I think, arguably, Impul 12 volt head ups and cars are dead now. That's that's just the way to go. I reckon I just chuck it in and you can charge up and use whatever you need inside of the car or wherever or you wanted to take this and things. Yeah. So, these oh, things that I'm, yeah. I'm actually going to jump in here. This is not a plug because, well, it is a plug, but it's not a plug because this is actually. For me, this is a staple now. I think in the past few videos of Patriot Games, you've heard me carry on about the go block. Mm -hmm. I do genuinely think that this is one bit of kit that anybody who's into outdoors anything, camping, touring, fishing, boating, hunting, whatever you're into, you have to have one. 100 amp hours of lithium, uh, portable, uh, trickle charge. So what we've done with this is we put the go block in the back. If you want to add a second seat in the back, you can see you've got the lay flats here. So you can put a, like another Dometic fridge in the back. You can plug this into the 12 volt trickle charge in the back. So every time that your car is driving, um, you're getting some charge in there. But the ultimate setup is put a solar panel on the roof. Everybody knows lithium loves solar. Solar panel on the roof, hardwire this in. But the best thing about these is when you're not using the car, couple of handles, take the thing wherever you want to go. Yeah. Um, <coughs> check them out, Red Art Go Block. I think um, probably one of the best, one of the best things that I've seen come out of the um, the four wheel drive industry in the yeah. past 12 months. Eh? And we, we got two of yeah, them now. Good. Yeah, so good. And we just beaten. use them yep. every, where boat in the back of his in car, yeah. wherever. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere so, we go yeah, now, we you don't have to go through the whole four, five thousand dollar setup, maybe a six thousand dollar setup for a lithium second battery kit that is just restricted to just being in your car. This does the job of that, and you can take the thing anywhere. So, yeah, yeah really cool bit of kit. Yep. Um, yeah. All right, let's keep, That's about it. Let's keep moving around. Is that about it and for fitment? Yeah. Oh, and look at this. So the lucky winner, don't paint it. Don't paint it. We've left that on there intentionally. You have a Patriot Games mark on your brand new MUX. Yes, this it. thing is brand new. I would say it's probably done two or three hundred kilometres. We took it out for that one filming day only. Um, only driven on Sundays by my grandmother. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. I just church and back. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. That's the only places that it's been, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, it much. didn't go anywhere that the GU Patrol goes. Yeah. No. 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 Sorry. Which no. is not anywhere anyway. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's just coals and... Um, yeah. It's just coals and... Yeah. yeah. It's coals and... All right. Let's go to... I'm going to do the Patriot last. So you two come over here. Yep. Right. Come around here. And let's, um, let's do come this... Come the last one through the, the Ranger 150. It does not come with the UE booms for later. Yeah. All right, so anyway, this is the Polaris Ranger 150. Even though, even though and me and Christian are 18, even we have fun in these, they're just really good. Best and the fun. thing is, though, with all that geofencing technology and, and everything in it, you can make it go as fast or as low as you want depending on the age of your kid or even bigger kids, Big kids. like I just, just had an Justin. idea I just had an idea sorry to jump in there I'm gonna throw something out there if you win this prize pack $145,000 prize pack and you don't want the Polaris Ranger 150 I know the perfect home for it if you're a nice enough person you know what I'd do right. I'd give it to Gavin to Steve's kid yeah, yeah. That kid had so much friggin' fun in this thing, and I know it would get good use, and even when he comes out to the races with it. So, Gavin, if you're watching, the lovely people that just won this prize pack are gonna give you a Polaris Ranger one. <laughs> no, no, they're not. But, I don't know, that's maybe just a bit of a thought. Yeah? Yes. Yanni, what else do you got on the Ranger 150? Um, it's got um, green up here, which is, oh yeah, um, Geofence, mm -mm. yeah, your yeah, yeah, your geofencing range, your um, speed, fuel level, oh, gear, all mm -mm, that. But other than that, it's just really simple, bare bones kids and big 
kid's toy that and goes goes. They really are unbreakable. Good. Oh yeah, like, trust me. Or like, no. yeah, trust us. So if we it was going to break, yeah. we would have broken one. We haven't broken one yeah. yet, have no. we? So pretty tough. Um, and in the back here, uh, Dometic uh, ice box. These are new ice boxes. These are pretty cool. The kids love yeah. these. Um, they come with these sticky kits. You can bang them all over. I'm not even sure. Is this a 55? This one? I'm not even sure. We got tons of them. Let's we see. use them absolutely everywhere. Um, really, really good SD. Nice. All right, I'm gonna do all the right, Patriot. Right, Jazzy, uh, that's all your. That's me. So okay, go for it. I know a little bit about these things. A little. I'll try and not turn this into another 20 minutes. Um, but really quick, uh, Patriot X1N is going to be the giveaway for this year. So we've matched it in white to the white MUX. X1N for us is returning the Patriot camper to really where it all started. Now in this configuration that you see right now. Um, we've got a Dometic electric rooftop tent up on there, so it's got a remote control, opens and closes uh, remote control. If you watch the episode, you'll see how that operates. But what it means with the X1M, with that platform on top, as you evolve, so depending on whoever wins this prize pack, and this is kind of what we thought this year. If you were a single traveller, if you were a couple, if you had young kids, if you had older kids, if you had grandkids, you can take that rooftop tent off as you like, as you evolve through your camping experience over your years, and you can turn the X1N into really um, whatever you want it to be. A couple of the big features um, as we, I'll take you for a quick whip around. Uh, Dometic um, CFX 55 um, with a little ice machine in there. So it's got a little ice cube thing in there. Um, very, very cool bit of kit. Um, stainless steel sink, tons of bench uh, space. Um, Red Arc Manager 30 BMS. So the X1N comes standard with just the standard, the original BMS. Um, you can option in the TVMS like you can in all of the Patriot models, but very, very simplistic. Standard rocker switches. This one here is sitting on airbags as well. Um, so you can adjust, obviously, the height either side. You can level the thing uh, when you get to camp. There's your remote control there for the rooftop tent. Um, so you can run through that. Coming around the back, uh, spare tire, peak or wheels, uh, 16 by eights on the Patriot campers. Uh, you got X crew suspension, uh, independent suspension underneath these things. 155 litres of water, um, 33 inch mud terrains uh, come standard. All built right here by the boys and girls at Patriot Campers, right behind these walls, right here. I'm a little bit biased, but what I consider the best camper trailer in the world. Yeah? Um, ladder, you got more access around this side. Um, twin gas bottle holders, you can see the Dometic rooftop tent. Tons of room up there for two people. Not the biggest tent in the world, but very, very comfortable for two people. Um, and you can get extensions, you can get awnings that hang off the side and all the rest of it. Super, super quick to set up. Um, we've got the Pcor Max Tracks um, on the front, Max Tracks Extremes. And then we've got a Dometic barbecue mounted on a barbecue swing away in the front. So you can see here that this, um, this package is really a package that would suit absolutely anybody. How we've kind of been rolling with the MUX most of the time, when you lay those seats flat in the back, the amount of gear, like when we went out to Fink, how was the amount of gear? I think oh, we had two fridges in the back, go block, yeah. swag, like, like everything. so much gear in the back, but it then the advantage is dump all that stuff up, put the seats up, seven crew in there, whether it's mm. a family, team of mates, whatever, um, you are good to go. All right, so that's a look around the package. Let me go back to my run sheet and see if I forgot anything. Okay, so just in case I did um, forget anybody, um, the boys have, and girls have written it down for me. So I'm going to give a massive, massive thank you to everybody who's involved with us in all of these competitions and support the season right throughout the year. These are the people that realistically, it's not just a plug for sponsors, these are the guys who genuinely get behind us, get behind our family, support our dream of, of creating the content that we create, Patriot Games, letting you guys kind of into our, our life a little bit and really given us the ability every year to change somebody's life. And that's what this thing is all about, you know? We've, ha we've had some amazing successes in business with some amazing people around us that have put me, and especially these two, into a very, very, very privileged uh, position that not all people are in. And um, this is our way of having the ability to give a little bit back. So to these guys, obviously, uh, the team here at Patriot Campers, first and foremost, um, our family down at Red Arc, um, our family at GME, uh, the team at Polaris, um, Dometic Outdoor, another great Australian, very, very local company. They're about 20 minutes down that way. We spend a bit of time down there. 
Um, our newest family, who I know you boys love to death. Absolutely. Bob Jane T Marks. Oh, yeah. Yep. And um, I don't know whether it's the right thing to do, but I think specifically, Michael, at Bob Jane T Marks down at the ring, mate, you, yeah. you're changing these boys' life. They love hanging out with you, and um, I'm sick of hearing about you. Yeah. <laughs> so if anything ever happens to me, mate, you've got two twin boys. Yeah. Um, obviously, the team at PCOR, uh, PCOR 4x4, um, which is manufactured right behind this building as well, and the team at Max Tracks as well. Max Tracks have been supporting us really from day one, and um, another great Australian invention, great Australian um, company. Um, now, for the guys that have just got involved behind the build, a uh, big shout out goes out to Off Road Animal. Um, I don't know if we go back to where Off Road Animal started, I think it was the very first show that Patriot Campus was ever in. Back in 2014, I met the team from Off-Road Animal, which was an Off-Road Animal back then, um, and they've created a, a, an amazing brand, and I genuinely love the Off-Road Animal uh, products, so thanks for helping us out um, with this one here. Um, and the team at Ironman have got in uh, behind us, supplied us some of the products, and also the team at Fulcrum as well. So the guys at Fulcrum, thanks for the suspension kit. Um, we're really, really happy with it, eh? Yeah. Bit, yeah. Uh, yeah, it rides awesome. Yeah, some prototyping oh, stuff there. Right. So, um, really, really happy with those guys. Have I missed anybody else? Uh, I think I've covered. I think I've covered most of them. Yeah. 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 Patriot, Polaris, Pico. Okay. What's the duration? Where are we at? How long have we been going for? Can we see on here? No. Nah. Does anybody want to know who won? Is anyone yeah, by any chance? Should we have a look in the in the comments? Does anyone? Best prize would be better if Justin shaved his beard. No, 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 <laughs> no. not happening. Yeah. No. no, that's not going to happen. Anyone else? Two thousand yes, people yes. watching now, or just no, under two thousand yes, people? Yes, yes, yes. Let's get to two thousand. Do we get to two thousand, or do we just give this thing away? How Put it in the comments. Just, how's the chat? The chat's going. The chat's on. Go, I can't even read. Slow down, yo. Here we go. 1860, it's climbing. Nah, all right, we won't do it. Um, I do want to get down and see my little girl. Um, so, quickly before we do, um, this is another one that uh, we've been getting a lot of questions. What's coming up in season six of Patriot Games? I'm gonna give you guys a really quick run through. Um, you just saw the success that the 484 truck had at Fink. Yep. That series is coming out real soon. Tomorrow night, a whole new style of Patriot Games is launching, eh? Oh, one yeah. Of, one of arguably yeah. the best episodes that we've made. Two oh, episodes, yeah. I'd say. Well, yeah. I think it was done. just easy and fun. Well, I think oh, we've done better. Just no, good. look, we had a, we just happened by chance. Boys were out full wheel driving. I took the new Jeep out. You're going to see the FJ49 wheeling for the first time, doing some crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. You're going to see what that Jeep can do, and it is going to blow your mind. And I hate to say it, but you're gonna see what the GU can do too. That yep. thing actually rocks Genoa and Hills. So that's coming out tomorrow night. We've got a follow-up episode of that next week. You're gonna meet a lot of these guys, mates. A lot of the kids that grew up around my house, you know, I've seen these guys go from six or seven year olds into, you know, full-blown men. Well, some of them not really men. Yeah, <laughs> brains haven't developed yet. Uh, but boys, I love you. Make sure that you um, watch the next couple of episodes. It's gonna be cool. Um, then Fink's going to be coming out. Fink's going to be epic. This year we shot a whole new style. The helicopter work um, this year is just absolutely out Crazy. of control. Crazy. Um, so we're going to spend a lot of time editing that, putting that together, and you'll get to see mine and Jamie's run from 53rd to 12th. Still quite proud of that. Um, then we're going to, so for racing, we're going to race the Gundy 400. Um, we've got something new. Something new. Coming to Gundy, I think the time for fast. watching the belt temperature is finally over. over. Yeah, oh my God. that is gone. So um, the twins are coming out to race at Gundy. We've got to stop there. Then we're going to Don River Dash. Don River Dash this year, we've gotten behind the event. We're sponsoring the Don River Dash. Patriot Campus is a brand. We want to turn that into one of the premium off-road races here in Australia. A lot of big names are going up there. Yeah. Um, you got obviously Kaminsky's going up. You got Billy Yeti's going up. You got the Bentleys going up. Yeah, yeah. Um, and apparently Hayden, I heard that all three cars are coming now. That's yeah. Yeah. that's yes, that's what I heard. I yeah. heard there's all three cars yeah, coming. So, well, so you don't you really want to keep up to those rumours, mate? Um, garages Wait. and builds. Two. All right, two thousand. Here we go. I'll bang through this. Um, the Mack Truck Transporter is coming out real soon in a special Patriot Garage. Sarah's brand new Ram 1500, so Sarah has built the baddest 2022 model Ram 1500 in the country. 
Yeah. Um, we've also got, I don't know if you guys have watched what Ken Block just did with the new Ram TRX. Ram Trucks Australia are giving me the opportunity to do something similar. It's not going to be anywhere near that level. Which I'm, I don't think I'll tell you right now. Good of an idea. But I don't have those sort, sorts of skills, but you know, it's all in the head. That's Almost going to be done. a good one. We've got a garage on the FJ49 coming up. And we've also got about another three or four episodes on the Jeep build. We're about really to take it stuff. to the next level. Trips for this year, I can confirm with you right now, we're going back to the USA. Yes. So, finally. Yep, we're finally yeah. going back to the US. The whole family's going to be over there this year. I can't tell you what we're doing over there, but it involves some pretty crazy, iconic, big, big, big um, US tracks. I'm trying not to give it away here. And it might involve an unlimited trophy truck as well. Maybe. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know whether that, that's <laughs> probably going to happen. Yeah. All right. So that's about summing up season six of Patriot Games. The time is here. 2062 people watching. Uh, let's go. The envelope go. is right here. Um, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to state again. This, we have no idea what is in here. This is picked by an independent panel of a head, of, not a head, of a person in every single department at Patriot Campus. They all get together, they throw this thing around the room and they narrow it down to a field and then they pick the final winner based on some criteria, which I'm not gonna give away. Um, and it's not all about who the person is, it's more about the story, yeah? So the story that's in here, I'm sure it'll be a good one. I'm gonna get all the details from the winner after. We might try and get them on the phone and see, oh, it's not even a Queenslander. Oh, I just saw it. What, ah. What's up with that? <laughs> All right. So the winner of the $145,000 Ultimate Touring Package giveaway for this year from everybody at Patriot Games is Samantha J from Doreen in v Victoria. Yeah. yeah. Balloons up. Yeah. Congratulations, Samantha. $145,000 worth of gear. Are we going to try and get her on the phone? Yeah? Let's try and get her on the phone. Bring the phone in. Watch me beard, mate. Watch me beard. Watch me eyes. All right. Samantha, I really hope you're watching. 2,200 people are in here right now. How are we going? Oh, dude. That, that got me right in the side of the face. All right. Samantha, are you there? Hello? Hi. Is that Samantha? Yeah. Samantha, are you watching YouTube right now by any chance? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What? No, 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 hang on, hang on. It's, it's, Greg, it's Greg calling from the YouTube Actors Guild. <laughs> are you watching YouTube right now? We've had, we've had some um, <laughs> funny, I'm kind of stuck. Um, we've I had some funny activity say. on your YouTube account. I just say it, just say it. We've had some funny activity on your YouTube account. No. No? Do you, what are you, what's your favourite channel on YouTube? Oh, uh, Patriot Games. Oh, really? Why, pay, why Patriot Games? Oh, because like, they do the most amazing things. They're pretty good people, eh? Oh, I love it. Oh, I, don't actually, I don't actually follow it. I, that guy with the beard, he's a bit... I don't like him. <laughs> oh, no, I like them all. Who's your, who's your favourite? Who's that? Definitely my, my husband. Definitely the twins. The twins? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Samantha, it's Justin calling from Patriot Games, and I'm ringing you to let you know that you have won $145,000 worth of the best gear to tour this country. How does that feel? Oh my God. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. How good's that? I was just a bit excited. That is, are you really not watching YouTube? No, I'm not. What's your name, mate? What's your name? Well, you have won something now. Listen, I'm going to let you guys do cartwheels, pop open a bottle of champagne, get onto YouTube. I'm going to call you back in about 10 minutes and I'll give you all the details. Yeah? No worries. I'll call you back soon. See you guys. You. All right, <laughs> Samantha, congratulations. 
Um, I'm keen to find out your story. I'm keen to find out um, how you ended up at the top of the list. But guys, that's it. Once again, thank you so much for the support um, yeah. for the past 12 months. Can we stop that? Someone's <laughs> going to lose an eye here in a second. Um, thanks a million for your support for the past 12 months. Um, thanks for watching Patriot Games. This is real. We've done it every year. Yeah. Somebody is going to come up here. Well, Samantha is going to come up here, drive away with all of this gear, and I think by that reaction, we have definitely changed their lives, yep. and that's the position that so we're in, came. and that's what we want to give back. Yep. So, guys, thank you very much. Enjoy the next season of Patriot Games. <laughs>